Do you ever visit a golf course or baseball field or public park and wonder whose job is it to keep these places green? Do you think, I'll bet that would be a great job. I mean, all you have to do is throw down some grass seed, water it, and then mow. Well, you'd be right about one thing. Managing turf grass and green spaces is a great job. But according to two professional turf grass managers, one a golf course superintendent and the other the head groundskeeper at a AAA minor league baseball field, there's a lot more to it than sprinklers and lawnmowers. We mow the greens seven days a week during the season. We'll roll the field with a three-ton roller uh, to eliminate the frost tea from over the winter. In the summer, you know, you might you know, you might come in at 5 in the morning. We'll come in on a game day. I get the field set up for batting practice. I have about an hour of pregame work, which is chalking and dragging and watering the infield again, uh, getting ready for the game. Uh, the fairways, the rough, are mowing on a daily basis. Uh, a typical day in the summer for me is about 12 hours. Wow, that's a lot of work. What is it that keeps turf grass managers coming back to their jobs every day, even with the long hours and never-ending task lists? Why is it worth all the time and effort to keep these spaces green? That's good for the environment as it filters out a lot of you know, man-made pollutants and to protect you know, our, our, our creeks and lakes and ponds and even the underground water from, from being polluted. One, it helps the environment um, and also just a gathering space for people to gather, um, golf courses, city park especially, places for people to exercise and stay fed and, and uh, just have a healthier lifestyle in general. If you want to be a good turf grass manager, you'll need to hit the science and math books. The job requires knowledge in geometry, chemistry, biology, agronomy, and even meteorology. Math and science both come into play uh, here in a number of areas. Probably the biggest thing for math, uh, when you break it down, the budgeting process is a lot of math. Uh, reading a fertilizer bag and knowing how much product to put out, calibrating my sprayer, uh, and then you do a lot of liquid measurements for that and a lot of dry measurements. In the science side of it, it's kind of multifaceted in turf grass disease, uh, plant physiology, why a plant is doing, doing what it's doing at a certain time of the year, and then also another area of science is weather. Uh, you get so in tune with the weather because that really runs our day, day in and day out. A well-rounded education is a must for turf grass management. Part of your education, though, should include some good old-fashioned experience. Take the initiative to find an entry-level job, internship, or mentor in your community. I would tell them to, to get a job at their local course or, or at a, a ball field or even a lawn care and, and see if they like that kind of work and see if they can deal with the hours and, and the kind of work that they do on that course. And, and if they do like it, then I would encourage them to expand their knowledge in, in the turf grass industry, either by way of uh, you know, a college education or schools, seminars, or even uh, um, just the local, you know, the turf industry. And there's, they have a lot of seminars around that they can attend. We've had high school students in the past come out and job shadow us. Uh, we encourage it. Uh, it's kind of our duty here to encourage younger students to come through, uh, see what we do uh, on a daily basis. I think it's, it's probably the best thing a high school student could do, uh, maybe a part-time job or jar job shadowing. Turf grass managers can take pride at the end of their long days, knowing that they've provided space for people to exercise, unwind, and enjoy a little bit of Mother Nature. Visit the following websites for information about turf grass seminars and conferences hosted by professional associations. Many professional associations offer scholarships for students interested in turf grass, so check their websites often for such opportunities. Also, talk to your FFA advisor about applying for local, state, and national FFA proficiency awards in turf grass management. More information about national awards can be found at www.ffa.org under Programs, then Proficiency Awards.